In many areas of the country, hay is a vital feed resource for cattle. But if you live in an area where the growing season is short and you only get one cutting, you better make sure you've got the best equipment to ensure a high quality product. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brad Bulla has a look at how John Deere equipment is helping one Colorado producer deal with his haying challenges. In the high mountain country of northern Colorado, cattle thrive on the land that is home to the historic Park Range Ranch. I mean, what better place to be a cow? I mean, it's, it's a good place. We run 750 mother cows, 250 first calf heifers, and close to 1,200 yearlings. We're feeding America. That's what we do. That's why we're not doing this for fun. We try and raise the best possible beef we can to supply people that can't raise beef. Raising beef cattle here is not easy. Calves are threatened by protected predators such as gray wolves. And at high elevations like this, weather also creates challenges. The never ending challenge is, you know, the landscape itself, mother nature itself. We have a certain timeline on our hay. We have a certain timeline on these mountain grasses to get the most pounds possible. There's no better grass in the world than these, this Timothy mountain grass and this brome grasses and clover and all that. I mean, it's just, it's phenomenal hay. When I came here, they were haying 1,800 acres, and now we're up to 2,800 acres. Johnny, he has a huge ranch. He has a lot of cattle there. Uh, he puts up a lot of hay. We are 99% hay country here, high protein mountain grass. Uh, we are at 6,200 feet in elevation, so we grow some, uh, some really good mountain grass here. Uh, we only get one cutting due to our um, short season, but uh, the cutting we do get is phenomenal. If we can't grow hay, we can't feed a cow. That's as simple as I can put it. Getting the hay needed with only one cutting means it's critical that people and equipment are ready when it's time to go in the field. My haying window is about 60 days. That's what I got. And you gotta go. You gotta go hard and you gotta go fast and everything about the John Deere equipment that I've done so far from swathers to the balers, the tractors, everything, as long as they're properly maintenance, they ain't gonna let you down. Johnny likes this baler and tractor very well. The 7R tractor, it is just a heavier tractor. It's kind of what we recommend for the three by four baler. It handles it very well. Uh, you get in there and you ride in it and you can't even hardly tell that baler's behind you. And in high country like this, with a short season in the hay field, the move to using a large square baler has been a game changer. The benefits of the large square baler are production and speed and making a bale that you don't have to worry about, you know, and you're just rolling. I mean, they're so fast. Time is money here, so the, the value of not waiting for a bale to tie or kick out or anything is immense when you have a window of, say, four hours in the afternoon to get as much bailed as possible. To be able to just go and drive is invaluable here because it's when you can just sit there and drive and have them punching out and punching out and punching out, that saves so much time. The capacity of these large square balers is, uh, is huge. They can tie a bale on the go versus stopping with a round baler and tying it there. Transporting is another huge uh, advantage uh, to where if they truck them out of here that uh, they fit nicely on a semi. Large squares for me are the easiest to truck as far as little bales. I mean, I can put 42 big three by four bales on a truck versus 700 little bales. As far as labor goes, these three by fours are less labor intensive. They stack better, they're easier to deal with. Though his John Deere dealer is nearly two hours away from the ranch, Johnny knows he can count on the team from U.S. Tractor and Harvest to keep him up and running. I just like their availability. I mean, there's been times where I'm still in the field at 10 o'clock at night and I can text their parts guy and I was like, hey, I need this tomorrow and he, Yep, I'm on it, and I'm like, oh, gosh, that's kind of nice, you know, because we're in a day and age where it's 
eight to five and unfortunately ranching doesn't run eight to five usually if hay equipment's going to break down it'll do it on a saturday evening you know and and uh you just got to take care of them get it handled and get them back to rolling again very critical that we have a good john deere equipment uh to back us up and keep these hay producers going and our parts department is phenomenal to um, get parts for these producers when they need them. In addition to the speed, capacity, and comfort of his John Deere machinery, Johnny says getting his hay put up faster has led to higher, more consistent quality in the bales he feeds. And that has resulted in better performance from his cattle. There's a big difference. I mean, I went from 85% breed up and, you know, calf retention and just, you know, getting through a winter to 95%. And it all started with putting better hay up. And so that was, I mean, I didn't buy any more bulls. I didn't, you know, I didn't do anything different as far as the cows go. I just started putting up better hay. And, you know, putting that as a factor into, you know, how do we get our breed ups better? How do we get our calf weights better? How do we, you know, and it started right here. In the mountains of northern Colorado, I'm Brad Buller reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. If you'd like to learn more about how equipment from John Deere can bring value to your farm or ranch, visit your local dealership or check out the website johndeere.com.